guys, my name is Cal, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play the solo for I'm Shaken by Jack White. Um, now I did the verse and the chorus and all that stuff in a different video, so if you want to check that out, uh, go over to my channel and you should find it there. Um, but I didn't include the solo in that video, however a lot of you guys said you wanted to see the solo, and so here I am doing the solo for I'm Shaken by Jack White. Let's get into it. Okay, so starting off here, we have a uh, first finger on the 12th fret G string and a bend it up to the uh, to a whole step, not to a whole step, bend it up a whole step, uh, like this. Um, so you do have to be able to bend uh, to really get this solo down. Uh, next, take your third finger, place it on the 14th fret D string, then to the 12th fret D string, 14th fret A string, 12th fret A string, then to the 15th fret E string, and then the last note is on the 12th fret uh, G string, the note that we started with. So, real slowly. Basically, you start on that note and then walk it down the pentatonic scale. And then land back on the, uh, the 12th fret G string. Uh, also, when you hit that last note, you can give a little bit of vibrato if you want by moving your finger up and down. It makes it sound a little bit cooler, more interesting. Then it goes down to the second fret, uh, second fret G string, and you bend that up a whole step, and this time you hit it four or five times. And then it's basically open, hammer on, open, hammer on open twice, open G twice, and then on the 5th fret, B string is the final note that you hit in that sequence. So... Um, and again, all of these notes are sort of, you can pick them, uh, take them or leave them basically, so like on that last one, I didn't hit it open uh, open G twice. You can kind of play around with it. That's the gist of the riff. Feel free to change it how you want or add or take away notes. Um, and then the next part, he goes back up to the, uh, the 14th fret on the G string and you bend it up a whole step again. So for this time, instead of letting it come back down, you just cut the note off. So it sounds like this. And you do that twice, so it's and then to the 12th fret on the, uh, the G string. Then to the 14th fret on the D string, and you hit that twice. And then back to the 12th fret on the G string. So, so far we have this. Next part, just a simple uh, bend up on the 14th fret G string, and then landing with your first finger on the 12th fret G string. And that last part there, uh, you bend it up and hit it uh, four or five times again, sort of take it or leave it and then land again on the 12th fret. It's basically the same pattern throughout the song, or throughout those uh, last two riffs there. Um, and you just basically hit the notes different uh, different times. And then the last part is uh, really high pitched. You go up to the 17th fret on the high E string, and you bend that up a whole step. And then bend it down, and then land on the 15th fret high E. Then twice on the 17th fret, uh, B string, and then you're done. So, um, now he uses an octave pedal, which is why this solo will sound slightly different than he plays it. So it's difficult to play along with the recorded song. However, um, this are these are the notes that he plays. So. Uh, they will still sound, it still sounds like the solo, uh, essentially. So, all together. Uh, 
Um, so that is basically the solo. It's a pretty short solo uh, as far as Jack White solos go. Of course, live, he does some crazy stuff that I won't get into, but that's the gist of it. Again, I've transcribed this myself, um, so there may be some notes that are totally wrong and there may be some notes that are totally right. Uh, I don't know. Leave me uh, leave a comment if you enjoyed this video, if you'd like to see more stuff from Jack White. On that, hope you guys have a great day, and see you guys later.